Travis Wayne Goodsell. I was going over with a, a, a Mormon uh, earlier today about this website. Uh, they were wanting to uh, know how to do research to uh, figure out the uh, seer stone in the singular that the church had at their uh, pictured at their museum and uh, are finally coming out and confessing which shocked a lot of Mormons so I brought them to this website and uh, was able to point out how the church not only is lying to Mormons but they're still lying to Mormons and that they're even manipulating Wikipedia articles about the Mormon church and so I thought I'd share it with you uh, with just this first little section at the top to point out the number of errors that are on this Wikipedia page. Now if you know Wikipedia and you know about putting stuff on Wikipedia, they have rules. They have people that check everybody's submissions. And you have to follow proper research procedures. You have to reference things correctly. And I'm going to show to you uh, that uh, the church is the one exception on Wikipedia in regards to this. So let us begin. Notice uh, up in the title of it, see where I'm highlighting? You can't see the finger, uh, but you can see what I uh, pop up. Uh, the title is Seer Stone, Latter-day Saints. And so there's the picture of it over here on this side on the right there's the picture the church says is joseph searstone nicely polished very nice isn't it all right so according to latter-day saint theology really <laughs> remember i was born and raised mormon going on 50 years uh, seer stones were believed to be used by Joseph Smith. Notice they didn't put Junior. You have to hover over Joseph Smith's link to uh, show that it's Junior and not Senior. Uh, that's a typing error, but it's okay because they put the right guy with the link. But notice that they use Latter-day Saint theology that seer stones were believed to be used by Joseph Smith. Notice the title, seer stone. Notice the picture, one stone. But here they say seer stones in the plural. What's going on? Is it one stone or more than one stone? Uh, as we uh, keep looking, here they say, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe that Joseph Smith used a seer stone, not stones, in the Book of Mormon translation effort. We do. Mormons didn't know about this until Mormons came out with their gospel topic essays as a consequence of social media and all of the LDS critics who were pointing out what the September 6 had identified, of whom the church retaliated against and had them fired from their positions in the history department at BYU and excommunicated from the church. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, no cover up there at all, was there? And, and so, this is a new thing that the church is now ex expressing that they've been lying about. That Joseph Smith used a rock in a hat. But again, it starts off sear stones. Is that the type error? Is it supposed to be one stone? Well, let's keep going. Sear stones. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> it's now back to plural are mentioned in the Book of Mormon. Okay, so it's appropriate to be plural. In the Book of Mosiah, 
Yep, because of the interpreters. As described as being used by seers to translate and receive revelations. Notice that a seer is understood in Mormon theology to be the highest position in the church as the presiding high priest. And yet, what order is it ranked in when they call themselves by their titles? Prophets, seers, revelators. And in fact, in the book of Samuel, when they refer to Samuel as a prophet, they then have to clarify and say, in olden times, a prophet was a seer, but now they call them prophets. So that was sort of missed by the church, wasn't it? The term Urim and Thummim, notice they're in the Hebrew as plural, lights and completions, or perfections, is usually used by Latter-day Saint members to refer to the interpreters mentioned in the Book of Mormon. Some Latter-day Saints use the term Urim and Thummim and Seer Stones interchangeably. Topical guide? <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about with references? They're referencing the topical guide. Unbelievable. That's not a primary source. Look at this one, though. Where it says, Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe... So apparently, I had believed previously to having this revealed that Joseph Smith used a steer stone in the Book of Mormon translation. No, we had no idea about that. Looking into a hat was left out in Mormon history, in all of the CES programs and conference talks, etc. But look at who they're referencing for this statement. Who's covering for the church. Because notice he works for the Deseret News the church-owned publication for the state of Utah. Lloyd R. Scott. Notice the date. 2015. Wait a minute. <laughs> this was after the church confessed about the look, Joseph looking in a hat with a stone in it. This is not a primary source reference. And yet Wikipedia let it go. Let it go. And so let's look at number two reference. Mormons publish photos of seer stone used by Joseph Smith. Again, one stone. But it's the New York Post. This is not a primary source. What's going on here? Why did Wikipedia let this go? It's because the church has multi-billions of dollars Wikipedia has no clue about Mormons or anything like it, so they just say, yeah, you got a reference, whatever. Yeah, multi-billions? Okay, we'll be quiet about it and let it go. Alright, so... Smith owned at least two seer stones. I'm now... Let's see, how do I bring this up to... Can you see that I'm highlighting these under contents? Right up above it. Smith owned at least two seer stones. Well, wait a minute. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believe that Joseph Smith used just one seer stone in the Book of Mormon translation effort. But now they're saying he used two, which he had earlier employed to, for treasure seeking before he founded the church. Oh, let's see. For a survey of Smith's use of seer stones, respected scholar and patriarch, see Richard Lyman Bushman. Again, they're quoting an author. And this was 2005. This is not a primary source document. If a rough stone rolling references a primary source documentation that Joseph Smith used and owned at, at least two stones for the Book of Mormon, 
we need to be referencing that, not the author who put the reference, hopefully, in his book. Do you see the problems here? So many problems. But the main thing we need to understand is that the church lied to Mormons. They downright lied. And now the church is trying to cover it up by saying that, oh yeah, members have known this all along. <laughs> no, you haven't. Nobody knew of this. We all thought it was by the gift and power of God. The pictures always show Joseph Smith looking over the plates. No special glasses, no rocks in a hat, just looking at the actual plates that he claimed he was using. And, and so this is a cover-up that you're witnessing right here on the Wikipedia page by the church. Because now the church is saying it's one rock, and it's a nicely polished rock, isn't it? Anybody ever seen the South Park episode about uh, Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon? There are two rocks that he puts in the hat, and they look nothing like this. Guess where the South Park guy got his information from? The primary source documentation of the two rocks themselves. So the church is lying that Joseph Smith had used a rock and a hat, and now they're trying to cover it up by saying members all know about this. And now the church is lying further by saying it's this one rock over here, and everybody already knows about it, and so we can move on and ignore the church's lies as they continue to lie again because this wasn't the rock. It was two other rocks. And then here they throw in something irrelevant. Although this is the introduction, so maybe it's okay to put in here. But this is the kind of arguing Mormons use on other topics to try to defend unsoundly an argument for whatever argument they have to defend. And there are lots of them in the Mormon church. And so here they say other Mormons, such as Hiram Page, David Whitmer, Jacob Whitmer, also own seer stones. And again, oh, uh, no, uh, Jesse Papers of Joseph Smith, uh, D. Michael Quinn. Now, see, again, quoting an author. <sighs> If Hiram Page, David Whitmer, and Jacob Whitmer owned seer stones, how do you think we would know about that today? From a primary source, how would we know? From their ancestors still possessing those stones. That's how we know about Joseph Smith and the two other stones that the church is refusing to let, let it go to the public is because they still have those in possession. That's the primary source. They should have been showing the pictures of the two stones instead of referencing this Richard L. Bushman. That's how you properly do a Wikipedia page. And they didn't do that here. And so this is how bad things are for the church. You know, I'm not going to go on into the treasure hunting and all that stuff because this branches off into a whole history that the church is covering up in regards to Martin Harris. Because Martin Harris is the single source for Joseph Smith using a rock, his rocks and a hat. And why is he the only source? because Joseph Smith took him away from Palmyra, where his farm was, where Joseph Smith worked for him, which is why he knew him to bring him to help with the book, because he knew he was rich and could publish the book, brought him to hire, uh, <laughs> Harmony, Pennsylvania, which was north of Pittsburgh, where Sidney Rigdon used to be living, that area. 
and so you can already see those of you who already know a little bit about the real church history uh, you already recognize hey wait a minute uh oh wow there's lots going on that we're not being told about even by these LDS critics who are publishing books and so this is the frustration as I tried to publish uh, the correct information from LDS church history. There are certain procedures in doing research and reporting research, and this is just unacceptable. This is, this is crap. Um, and so when I did my research, I am able to identify the errors so that I know what to search for in order to find what really happened, what really was the situation. And uh, it's just sad. The more I do digging into the church's history, the more I make the connections with what the church is doing now, it's just sad. Having been born and raised, being loyal to the church, being faithful to the church, going to church 90 plus percent of my life that's how faithful I was I used to go to the temple every single day they were open even if it was to do a, a few initiatory which were quick and easy to do or a couple of baptisms this is how sad it is that I'm now in a position where I'm forced to sue the church. And if you see my website, you'll see the TWG versus LDS, that playlist. It's just sad that it has to come to this, to find out that the church that I was born and raised in is the most corrupt organization ever to have existed on the face of the earth and they're still committing crimes in covering up the real truth and that other historians aren't very knowledgeable which makes sense because they got their education from BYU and yet it's because of them that we owe our thanks exposing the corruption of the church so yeah it's, it's just sad I just finished watching uh, Rambo last blood and to hear Rambo talk about the darkness in the hearts of man that they just don't care for human life and that's what I'm witnessing with the church and that they're passing it on to the Mormons as Mormons also cover up and defend for the church as you can see here on this Wikipedia page claiming that what used to be real is no longer the situation they're trying to present a different history for future generations who will come to this page and go oh members of the church already know this information huh nope sorry it's a cover-up and that's just so sad so good night and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with something I guess we'll see I have yet to do that very long video about my lawsuit. I sort of got distracted, but uh, there's lots of stuff to cover. We'll see what I come up with.